What's up, K Nation? Today, I'm going to be covering slash reviewing the new leaked Fortnite skins. But before that, I want to say a few things. Lately, I've been getting kind of bored of these videos just because I say the same things over and over again. Like, it's pretty cool and moving on and just stuff like that. And I'm sick of that. I even recorded this video earlier today and it was exactly what I just said. Saying the same things over and over again. So I want to change it a bit. So today's will be a little different, and I hope you enjoy the changes. If you don't, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what skins you're excited to see. So yeah, I hope you enjoy today's video, and let's get right into the leaked skins for this Fortnite. If you do that diddly dee for me, I'll do that diddly do for you, and we will diddly doodly do all night together. If you do that diddly dee for me, I'll do that diddly do for you. Reskin of one of the soccer skins. Okay outfit, kinda wish it was a jungle adventurer more though. Reskin of the Midnight Ops, aka the Skyward Soul skin, and is inferior to the Scorpion. But still cool. Please Skyward, don't kill me after I said that. <laughs> Just a slashed up backpack. Just a backpack, but cool since we don't have any normal backpacks. Also looks like the backpack icon in Save the World. Strange. And we will diddly doodly do. It's Steel Wolf Sid from Save the World. Really, really cool looking. And for some reason, we're seeing a lot of desert-like skins. Like these being Desert Route 66 bikers. Like, come on. Route 99, Route 66. Nice, not epic. It's a female biker and looks nice. Don't know what else to say. She looks really cool, though. Goes with the backbone, obviously. Or Steel Wolf Sid, as I like to call him. And has a little boot hanging on the side. And repair tools on the back. Pretty cute. I like the colors and the little bear on the side makes it look even better. Like that little bear. Come on. That's the pink bear, obviously. Should have been called the full throttle, but I'll give it a pass. It's basically a handle for a motorcycle. I don't know why I said it like that, but it's I. It's an amazing glider with the flames on the sides and even has a reference to save the world with the Plankerton text. See that? And Plankerton's zone and save the world. Really cool. If you do that diddly dee for me, I'll do that diddly do for you. Yes, we're having a starter pack this season, with it being called the Ace Starter Pack, and it is the first female starter pack skin, and is the greatest starter pack we've ever had, in my opinion. She's basically a modern times bank robber. It's a duffel bag with money, or as I like to call it, llama bucks. If you do that diddly dee for me, I'll do that diddly do for you. Really enjoy the mask on him. His helmet looks awesome. I like his armor theme. It's like blue and gold and the cool design. The mask, again, looks awesome. It's like black and has like little gold teeth. I don't know what that is. Like a troll, goblin. I don't know. It looks awesome, though. I really like this one a lot. Same as the other one. I love the armor design. And, yeah, I also like the mask. The little cat mask looks awesome. And, yeah, it's just as cool as the other one. I really, really like this one, too. It's a cat holding a katana. What else can you say? It's a beautiful, beautiful back bling and the greatest back bling of all time. Of all time. Oh, and that's pretty cool. It's a flag you can strap on your back while you're going into battle. You can hold up this battle flag. I don't know what else to say. It's pretty cool though. Um, I have no comment on this. Uh, it's like a katana pickaxe. But we already have the plunger, so the plunger is immediately better than this one. But still, this one's okay. Alright, this glider is pretty cool. I like the blue design on it. I like the little cat design. And yeah, I don't know what really else to say. Moving on, we have these duo skins. They're basically, um, like hippies with, um, the female one, the dream flower, and the male one, the four out, man. Come on, I had to say that. The four out, man. And yeah. Um, the Dream Flower, cool I'd say, don't know what else to say, and the Far Out Man, I, I don't know. First, I thought he was like the worst skin ever and ugly, but now I think he's okay. So, I need to let my opinions on him settle for a while until I can give my rating on him. Now, this time I don't know what back bling goes with who, with uh, there being the Hip Shakers and the Summer Strummer. Um, the Hip Shakers is like maracas on the sides, and the Summer Strummer being like a guitar case, like them. And these duo skins are still sort of going with the desert theme, since hippies and deserts have a connection, because drugs are easy to do in deserts. I don't know. I'm sorry I said that. There's also a harvesting tool and a glider. Sometimes I say pickaxe, but the harvesting tool is called the drum beat. 
Not the greatest pickaxe in the world. And then we have the glider, the tie-dye flyer. Oh my gosh, that name's hilarious. And I actually really like that one. I like the design. It's probably the best glider in this wave. I actually kind of like it. I bought myself a brand new tractor. It sounds just like a nuclear reactor. We have another skin from Save the World now in Battle Royale. With that being the cloaked star. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he's in Battle Royale now. Awesome skin and save the world, but his abilities are awful in my opinion. He doesn't even have Dragon Slash. That's just straight up awful. I never use him in save the world, but I want to use him because he looks cool. And now I can do that and save the world. I mean, Battle Royale, sorry. Um, I can use him now in Battle Royale. And um, he kind of reminds me of a map from Infinite Warfare Zombies. The Shaolin Shuffle map with like, he gives me that sort of New York vibe. I don't know why I'm even mentioning that. And I don't know if this is his back bling or not. Right here, the Ghost Portal. That's kind of weird. Why would he have a ghost portal on his back? Wait, wait, wait. That has something to do with the lore. I beat my cows and milk my chicken. If you're subscribed to PlayStation Plus, you'll be getting a few things like this. Reskin of the Googly is called Flappy. Uh, when I say reskin, I don't mean that's bad because I really like this. And we also have this control most likely coming with it called the Artifact. And then this, the, um, which called the Controller. I keep saying the in front of stuff. It's not the control. It's just controller. And a whole it's a female version of the Raven. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. And the back bling, Dark Wings, is even better than the Love Wings. Look at that back bling. That looks so cool. Oh my gosh. Also, it does have a, um, it also, there's also a harvesting tool, um, Iron Beak. So now we can, you can have a harvesting tool to use with Ravage or Raven. Um, there's also a control for some reason called Dark Feathers. I don't know if you get that when you buy one of these things from the item shop for free. If you have to pay for it in the item shop, whatever way you have to, I want to get that control. That looks super cool. And this entire, that looks so cool. I seriously can't wait for that female raven skin. That looks so, so cool, and that's all I can say. If you do that fiddly fee for me, I'll do that fiddly do for you. Alright, so here's the road trip skin. He is called Enforcer, and he looks pretty cool. Um, I have no words um, to describe him yet, because we don't know anything about him, but he looks really cool looking. Way better than the Visitor. I like the Visitor, but his back bling was butt ugly. Not this time. This back bling, the Subjugator, looks way better. It's a shield. We saw people using this shield in, like, Happy Powers videos. You saw it, that weird Skull Trooper mashup he did. And they are using this back bling. But now, we're going to get to use it ourselves. And it comes with the Enforcer. We will diddly doodly do our night together. Alright, so we have covered all of the leaked skins that are coming out now to discuss the dances. Um, we have the Cappy Era. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's actually a really cool emote. I think I'm going to buy that emote. I have not gotten an emote since the True Heart emote came out. So yeah, it's been a while. Uh, the Cappy Era. Capybara. Don't know, I'm saying the Capybara. The Capybara doing a whole bunch of jumps and stuff. It might, like, you might fiddle with the hitboxes and stuff. I actually like that one. The Fancy Feet. Reminds me of the TSM Myth Dance, which I'm pretty sure he got from Spongebob. Um, job well done. That's all you need to know. It was, it was a job well done. Alright, now I forgot to record these until later on in the day, so here are my quick opinions about the other emotes. Cool, I guess? I don't know what else to say. N -n 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 maracas shaking around those maracas. Don't know what else to say. Just another emote. Shaking those maracas. Yeah, it's kind of cool. You get to shake around maracas. All oh, praise Lord Tomato. If you are not throwing tomatoes in your face, then you are not praising the tomato. He's meme. I bought myself.